Hello guys, welcome to back to my YouTube channel and today in this video we are going to talk about the one of the main important topic for our class 11th or there is 12th and for the NEET examination. So first of all, um, uh, first of all the topic name is the dimensional formula. In this video we are going to completely cover this topic and this topic requires the knowledge of the physical quantity, its general formula and all the formulas which come in our examination this is just from this dimensional formula topic only. So now let's get started and firstly I want to tell you uh, in the class 11 there is a chapter unit and measurement and from this uh, from that chapter only I have taken this topic and this topic is going to be quite more important in this NEET 2023 so now first of all let's get started so here is the dimensional formula so first of all as we all are knowing uh, we are uh, fully understood that the physical quantities are uh, some kind of quantities which use some parameters like mass, length, time etc to define any formula right so now in this also in this case also firstly we will discuss about the physical quantity so physical quantity definition is quite clear to us now let's move further and talk about the how many uh, type of this uh, physical quantities are there so basically i want to tell you there are seven physical quantities are there seven physical quantities so now let me write it down here first one first one is going to be a mass okay mass uh, in whole world we are using mass for anything for measuring uh, the weight right so for mass is also important so we use mass and mass is represented by m capital m right then second one second one is length so now length length is also used uh, in our daily life for measuring anything like uh, for measuring our body height also we use this length so length is also represented by capital l then now third point third point is time time is also required for uh, anything we use some time in any formula you will see in the physics you will basically think uh, think uh, that the time will always be there so time is also represented by capital T then now let's move further then the fourth one uh, basically first of all these three quantities are the most important quantities which we are going to use in this video then this is a temperature fourth one quantity is a temperature which is uh, represented by capital K right then uh, move further the fifth one fifth one is a current and current is also represented by capital A means ampere right so these are the less important okay now let's move further sixth one sixth one is a luminous intensity Luminous intensity is represented by candela. Okay, candela is a quantity for measuring the luminous intensity of any substance, any source you see around yourself. Now let's move uh, the seventh one. Seventh one is the amount of substance. Amount of substance. And this amount of substance is represented by mole, right? So these are the seven uh, basic quantities and this one is uh, not used so much in our uh, making any formula. So you can uh, take a screenshot here and then let's move further and talk about uh, more details. Okay. So first of all, for the all the seven physical quantities, they uh, require such general formula. Okay. That general formula is general formula for the physical quantities okay so physical quantities general formula is we will make a bracket like this then we will write m for mass then here is alpha alpha means uh, we will use as a degree there is no degree but how many times the mass is used in that formula we will write that number in the place of alpha then we will write l l means length and then we will use beta means how many times the length is used in the formula we will write in the place of beta then we will write t t for time and the gamma as it is okay so this is the general formula for the physical quantities for the dimensional formula we require this thing also so now now we have talked about the physical quantities general formula and uh, many more such important things now we will start to make up formulas so in this video i will tell you how to make a dimensional formulas from low level to the high level okay so now starting from the first of one that is area okay 
area as we all know area of square area of rectangle whatever it is so for uh, finding out the area what we do we do we multiply the length of a side to the another length of side right so length of one side into length of other side but in the physical quantities length it can be 2 cm it can be 4 cm but for the physics it is just a length it can be 2 can be 4 anything but length means length so here what we do we do l square right means we square the lengths that's it for the area so what we will write we will write m m here is in this formula there is no m means we will write 0 then l l here use 2 and t is 0 and this is the dimensional formula now let's move further we will make a formula of volume volume as we all are knowing this is cube of our length we will write it as the volume so what we will do m0 then l3 and t0 we make a another dimensional formula this is quite easy but when you um, upstairs the, in this dimensional formulas you will require a lot of knowledge to write the dimensional formula now third one third one is uh, we can take an example of uh, velocity right we can take an example of velocity velocity what we will do in the velocity case velocity case as we all are knowing firstly there is a distance some kind of distance means uh, length right and upon time right this is the formula of velocity then what we will do distance means l and time means t means we will write l 1 t minus 1 right and then after put it into a formula what we will get we will get m 0 L one T minus one, right? We got this after put this inside the general formula of physical quantity. Now let's move further. We will uh, talk about the acceleration. For the acceleration, what we will do? Acceleration, as we all are knowing, it is also just like this. But what we will do here is distance upon time square, right? Time square. So distance means L, and then t square means t square right t square means time square time square means second square so what we will get here we will get here is m 0 l 1 t minus 2 as a general physical quantity for this dimensional formula of acceleration right now let's move further now we will uh, talk about some more important formulas in in other case so now there is also a density right density also an important case in this question density it is a formula mass upon volume mass what is the dimensional formula of mass mass is m upon volume volume as we all are knowing this is the l cube right l cube so what we get m1 l minus 3 t0 we get this as a dimensional formula of density now sixth one sixth one the most important formula in all the cases in any competitive exam it is the force what you will do in the case of force force uh, as you all are knowing it is mass into acceleration right this is the formula of this so what we will write here mass 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 means m into acceleration acceleration formula of acceleration is l t e minus 2 right what we will get we will get m 1 l 1 t minus 2 as a dimensional formula of force so we have to remember this force formula m1 l1 t minus 2 completely now let's move further now there is also important one that is the work for work are you being aware for the physical quantity or the formula work work as we all are knowing work is that the force how much force uh, the work done is something that force into displacement right we know this so force into displacement means force as we all are knowing m1 l1 t minus 2 okay then multiply by displacement displacement means that is also a distance distance means length 
length means L, okay? Then what we will get? M1, L2, T minus 2 work, okay? Now, there is also another case that is energy. For energy case, what we will do? For the energy case, uh, as we are all, all are knowing that there is a formula M C square, right? M for mass. M for mass. C means velocity. So, velocity of uh, air, okay? So, sorry. It is the speed of light, okay? So, now, it means M, mass for M, then C square. C square, what we will get? Speed of light. Speed of light, what we will get here is speed of light means velocity. Velocity, as we all are knowing, velocity means L T minus 1. Then if you square it L square T minus 2, right? This we will get as the dimensional formula for C square. 